Hello guys, I'm Kat Valk and today I'm gonna do something that makes me a little nervous. I'm gonna share some art with you. Some of my really really old art, more than 10 years I think. So a lot of memories in this video, so stay tuned for that. But before we start, this video is actually sponsored by Art Amino. Art Amino is like a little community for artists where you can share your artwork and talk and discuss with other artists. I also want to mention that even if this is a sponsored video, all I say is my own and honest opinions as usual. I've been talking about this app before in a previous video, but that was a very long time ago, so I will do a quick little recap. This is what the app looks like, and you have this front page where you can scroll down and look on other artists' artwork. You can click on them and leave a like and a comment, you can also follow the artist if you want to. It's really fun and easy to use. I will show you real quick on how to create a blog post. Click on your little profile icon and then compose. As you can see, there are a lot of different features. You can join public chats, you can create polls and ask questions and even more, but now we we want to make a blog post, chose a title, I will actually post my Moana drawing, write a description and add the image. Here you can also write all the tags that you want. I'm gonna add these two categories too so that people will find it easier. And submit, super easy. It's also super easy to create an account. The app is available on both iOS and Android for free. Download links are in the description box below, so check that out. So I thought that since I will share some of my art with you here today, I would love to see some of your artwork. Perhaps you'd like to get some tips or advice on a drawing you're working on right now, or just want to show me your art. Create a post on Amino as I just showed you, and tag me in it so I will see it. Hashtag Katvalk. I'm not sure how many that will actually share their work with me, but I will do my very best and comment on them all. So back to my work then. I've been drawing for my whole life, so I have a ton of drawings and I can't really show you all of them. But I've selected a few of them and I think that the first one are from when I was 14, back in 2004. I'm born 90, so I'm 26 now, so that is 12 years ago. And I think it's when I started the process of developing the art style that I have today, so I'm a little scared, but let's go. So yeah, this is from when I was 14 or 13, perhaps. I didn't use a lot of colors, and I think this was in my manga phase when I drew a lot of manga. I didn't really watch any anime but I love drawing the big eyes and hairs and such. I don't know if you can see that, but it seems like I struggled a little drawing the second eye, so I just erased it and drew the hair over it. Very easy problem solving. Then we have this elvish looking girl that looks a bit sad, also in graphite. I tried doing some shading, but no highlights or anything in the hair. And I can actually see here that I had erased the second eye, so yes, I struggled a bit with drawing both eyes, so... Yeah. And another elvish looking girl. And now I actually drew both the eyes, so yeah, that is progress, I guess. I was really, really inspired by the Lord of the Rings movies. And I think in 2004, which movie was... Well, it might have been the last one. I drew her by a fence, or I think it is a bridge, actually. Tries to do some landscape in the background. And another girl by a fence. I don't know why I did... why I drew them by fences. That is very interesting. But yeah, this is another attempt of drawing some sort of manga, but as I said, it's just the eyes that is really the manga style, and rest is just something else. And she got really big boobs. And I also love drawing these high boots. Oh, and here we have a little kitty in graphite. Not very economical when it comes to using the space on the paper. And it only got one front leg, it seems like. No, there is a second one. Oh, this is actually pretty cute. And now we are on 2005 and I was 15. And as you can see, I struggled a little with what kind of style I wanted because this is more cartoonish, Disney looking, and in the background I have this more um, sketchy, semi-realistic style. And here's another little fox creature. 
It looks very Disney inspired, but I don't know what is this Balto? Is that what he's called? The dog? I haven't seen the movie, but I guess I must have seen pictures of it somewhere and got inspired. And no colors so far. Oh, and now it's 2006 and I did some cringy comics. I did a lot of comics back in the days, but I don't do them as much anymore. Oh, and here is Charlie, our family dog. She sadly passed away just a few months ago and I really, really miss her. It's nice that I had some sketches of her, that is really nice. And here's another <laughs> The Legend of Zelda fan art of Link. As you can see, I wasn't that uh, into coloring. I thought it was more fun doing the line art, even if it's not very detailed. I think I didn't really like the color pencils I had. They were very plasticky, more waxy. They didn't have a lot of pigment in them, so it wasn't very fun to use them. And I was still trying to do this manga style. This is also in 2006, and this is when I started high school. I don't know, I did a lot of these drawings with characters and blood and stuff. From this to this. And this piece right here is actually the first piece I ever made in Pro Markers. And I had a friend in high school that had Pro Markers and I tried them and I know I just fell in love immediately. I didn't know how to use them at all. I didn't know how to blend the colors and such, but I know I just loved them. And the fun part is that I can see here on the date that this is made December 15th and now the day when I'm posting this video is December 16th so it's almost exactly 10 years ago. So that is really really fun. I'm really glad I kept this one. Who is she? I have still no idea. As I said, I think it is a character that I had back there. I love drawing these ears with the piercings and a lot of hairs and a big tail. And I think this is when I found out about fine liners and I thought it was really really nice doing the cross hatching and such. And as you can see, I made a lot of sharp edges and that is something I still tend to do in my art style and I think it's really nice to see that um, 10 years later, I'm still doing the same things. And this is actually made the same date as I'm filming this video, uh, the four things, uh, but 10 years ago, so that is really fun. A lot of memories. Then we have this sketchbook, and this is what I looked like in 2006. I had really, really big eyes. No, but this is actually a self-portrait that I did in high school, and yeah, I can't really say that I am a professional portrait artist. I have learned a little since this. Oh, a creepy little teddy bear and some manga dude. And then we have another graphite drawing and this is a cheetah or a leopard or some kind of spotted cat. And it's funny now when I look at it, it looks quite sloppy made but I know that I spent a lot of time on this and I was so so proud of myself that I did something realistic. It's actually pretty good so yeah. And then we have these things and this is a little guy made in fine liners and this is actually made in 2006 so yeah this belongs back here. A crazy looking dog creature. I loved drawing things like this. And this may be one of the first drawings I made with my own pro markers. Uh, as I can see here, I made this in the beginning of 2007. So it was shortly after I had made this one. And a little kitty. And here she is again. And I think this was a character that I had sleeping. She's called Jinx with two X's because that was cool. I can honestly don't remember, but I think this is supposed to be me because I had a necklace like that myself. It's the Egyptian symbol for life and it means a lot to me and I wore that every day and I still have uh, not the same necklace, but I still wear the same symbol. And I started to learn to use a little bit more colors, but I'm still using very muted tones. And another drawing with some dog and fox creatures. And then we have a watercolor painting so we have some colors also from 2007 and I didn't thought of it back then of course this tree looks like a woman with a sword in her butt <laughs> but I do like this one I like the feeling in it arg it says with a butterfly on his nose <laughs> another little dog creature with a lot of hair I love drawing 
hairs in different colors, also with the piercings. And for this one I actually used Pro Markers and I also used the Faber-Castell Pit Artist brush pens that I still use today. And I remember I didn't have a lot of Pro Marker colors because I had just started to collect and they were actually quite expensive for me back then. So I like to combine them with the Faber-Castell uh, brush pens so yeah I did a lot of these drawings. Then we have another dark creature made in color pencils. And yeah, I loved drawing fur like this. I thought it was so, so fun. I could sit for hours and just draw fur. Ah, and another watercolor painting. I am actually quite impressed by myself because there is a lot of details in this one. I was sitting on the beach when I painted this and I really need to go out more and paint and draw because it is so, so relaxing. And here is another watercolor painting and this is painted uh, at the same time as this one, at the same beach. I really like the soft colors in this one. And then we have this character also from 2007, half human, half animal, even if this is more demon looking. And I drew a lot of these characters and I had this favorite artist that I had started to follow uh, some years before this and she's called Myra Boyle I think. She drew a lot of furries and wolves and stuff like that and I was so so inspired. And she also drew fur like this and I tried to copy that and I know I was so so happy with this because I thought it looked exactly like she made it so yeah I was very very proud of this. And the corset of course I did a lot of corset as you can see and this is another um, human animal character. I think this is a cat person. And in the background I have tried to make uh, some sort of pattern with pro markers. And as you can see I have started to learn to do some more highlights and such with the graphite. And then we have artwork like this and I made a ton of drawings like this one. I was in a very, very dark place. I wasn't happy and I drew a lot of this and this was my way to deal with it, I think. To put all my emotions down in a drawing and music meant a lot to me and I think this is from a song that I really, really liked. And this is actually when I discovered ballpoint pens. That's why I decided to show you this even if there is a lot of eh, memories in this one. And I used a really really cheap ballpoint pen that I got on the bus I think that they were handing out. So yeah and a lot of big and flowing hair. And then we have this lady and this is back in 2008 so I'm 18. So yeah I really loved drawing curves and such so I had a lot of fun with this one I remember. I can't remember if I did it for school or if I did it just myself. No I think I did it just myself actually so. And here you can see that I have actually improved my shading with the graphite a little from my first drawing that I showed. I started doing the signature that I'm still using today. And a little wolfy in graphite with no pupils, but I think this is just a sketch so, but I really like the style in it. Then we have this one. This is very dear to me. I had this for a very long time and I worked a little uh, every now and then on it. It is some sort of native girl with pointy ears. I loved drawing the pointy ears. As I said, I was a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings and Zelda and everything. So I drew a lot of girls with pointy ears. And then I had my dog creatures with a lot of hair and such. I really like this girl's expression and I kind of want to draw something similar to this. Maybe I should do a draw this again, perhaps? And then we have this girl, my oh my. I put a lot of time and effort into this one. I made one version and the face turned out good, but the rest of it turned out not so good. And then I made another drawing and then the face turned out bad and the rest of it turned out good. So I made a lot of versions of this one. I think this is the one I was most pleased with. And I actually tried to do some coloring too. It's not very colorful, but I remember I really liked this color scheme with the black and the red and the blue and grays. I must also say that I was quite good at drawing hands back then. I can't draw hands anymore, I can say. And here we have a zombie guy. I did a lot of shading in this one, but not the hair. 
for some reason. And I still draw these kinds of eyes, not this crazy looking obviously, but I still do this shape. A little dog sketch. And then we have this one. Oh, I love this one. I can't really remember, but I think I copied this from another artist, the body shape at least. And then I shaded it with the ballpoint pens. And I really like how I made the fur in this one. And you can't really tell that I'm a cat person, can you? And even more creepy looking dogs. And this is made in color pencils. And yeah, I, I'm trying to use a bit more colors here, but as you can see, it's not very colorful. I tried to use a lot of of earthy tones and darker shades so yeah not very vibrant and these are from 2009 by the way so I'm 19 or I'm gonna turn 19 anyway and this one I was so so proud of I really like how this turned out this is when I started to learn how to do shading properly with the ballpoint pen and this is a technique that I still use combining watercolors and ballpoint pen and I sometimes do that with portraits I make and this is from 2010 and I'm starting to learn more about the ballpoint pen. She's very very creepy looking. I drew a lot of faces like this when I was doodling and such. I drew very very long faces. Here's another one with the dress and the hair and the long faces and I really like these ones for some reason. I think they are so weird. And then we have more The Legend of Zelda fan art and I think this is Princess Ruto from Ocarina of Time in a more realistic style. And I remember instead of using fine liners for the line art I used a lot of ballpoint pen because I thought it was easier to control the ballpoint pen and the lines didn't turn out as harsh as it can be with a fine liner. Yeah I did a lot of ballpoint pen line art with watercolors and color pencils and I had a whole series with these with a border and such so yeah I really like these ones. So this creepy looking guy is made in pro markers and as you can see I didn't really know how to blend the colors. I don't think I learned the blending technique until two years later or something so yeah. And it was when I started to practice more, when I found out how to blend and such, and it was so much more fun to use them. And it wasn't that easy to look up either, because YouTube was pretty new back then, so I don't think there were a lot of tutorials or something to look up, so... And something from 2011, and I did a lot of artwork that looked like this, so this will speak for them all. So the reason why I stopped at 2011 is because this is when I started my YouTube channel. So if you want to see more of my old artwork after 2011, you can just go back in my videos and look there. So yeah, that is some of my old work. It's nice to go back sometime to see how much the hard work and hours of practicing have actually done for my art and art style. And I think it's good for some people that are not very confident about their own art to see that there is actually hope for them too. Don't be afraid to show your work to others. Every artist has to start somewhere and it doesn't really matter how old you are. Remember that we will all continue learning through our whole lives. So that is all I had to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a comment if you did. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and keep drawing and practicing my happy cats. Bye!